I am Mrs. Claus and I am going to tell you a story called Have You Seen Santa? There was once a little white fox that had a secret mission that I gave him that the whole of Christmas depended upon. Santa Claus had already set on his way but he had forgotten one very important thing that meant that all the children in the world would get no presents. Run, little white fox, take this envelope to Santa and keep it safely tucked into your deep fur coat. You must save Christmas, but beware of the polar bear. He has gigantic, powerful paws and I've been told that he likes to eat little white foxes. Over the ice ran the little white fox but he became so hungry and tired that he curled up into a little ball and went to sleep. When he awoke, he found that he was warm and cosy and nestled in the lap of a giant polar bear. The polar bear looked at him sternly and smiled. Here, little white fox, have some warm milk. You must be thirsty. The little fox drank his milk and then said to the polar bear, Have you seen Santa? Yes, I saw him go over there into the tundra. But beware of the reindeer. He has enormous antlers and I've been told that he likes to eat little white foxes. The tundra was flat and covered in snow and soon the little white fox became lost but then he saw a rock with a tree growing out of the top. He climbed it so that he could get a better view. Why are you climbing in my antlers little white fox said a booming voice. The little fox looked down and saw the eyes of the reindeer peering up at him but found the courage to say Have you seen Santa? The reindeer laughed <laughs> and stood up to his full height so the little white fox could see all around him. Santa went that way into the mountains but it will be dark soon. Beware of the snow leopard, as she has razor sharp claws and I've been told that she likes to eat little white foxes. It became very dark in the mountains and this made the little white fox very scared. He then heard a soft purring sound. the fox bravely. It is too dark so I can't see you but I can hear you Mrs Snow Leopard. Have you seen Santa? I have little white fox. He went up over the mountain. I can see in the dark fine. Hold on to my tail and I will show you the way. When they got to the very top of the mountain, the snow leopard pointed with her paw. Santa went down the mountain that way. But beware of the hare. She has long ears and I've been told that she likes to eat little white foxes. The white fox tried to run down the mountain, but the snow was so deep that he became stuck and he couldn't move at all. He then saw an animal with very long ears race up to him. It was the hare, but instead of eating him, she dug him out of the snow and freed him. Have you seen Santa? said the little white fox, shaking the snow off his coat. I have. 
He went down that way into the valley by the great river. Take these skis, little white fox. They will help you over the deep snow. But beware of the snowy owl. She has huge eyes and a pointy beak. And I've been told that she likes to eat little white foxes. The little white fox skied down into the valley but stopped by the great river. Oh no! How am I going to cross this? But before he knew what was happening, he heard a squawk and was flying in the air over the river. He looked up and carrying him gently was the snowy owl with her white wings silently beating the air. When they got to the other side, the little white fox thanked the snowy owl and said, Have you seen Santa? I have seen him, little white fox. He is camping in the forest and has a great fire to keep him warm. Go quickly as he will be leaving soon. But beware of the wolf. He has huge teeth and I've been told that he likes to eat little white foxes. The little white fox ran and ran until he finally came to Santa's camp. But Santa was no longer there and instead he saw the big white wolf. Little Fox was too tired to run away and so he said meekly, Please don't eat me, Mr Wolf. Have you seen Santa? The wolf made a soft grrr and then said, Yes, I have. He was here only an hour ago but has now flown far away with his reindeer on his magic sleigh over the sea. Get on to my back tired little white fox and I will take you to the ocean. After three days and nights of running the wolf finally put the little fox by the sea edge. I can take you no further little white fox but beware of the white whale. He has a gigantic mouth and I've been told that he likes to eat little white foxes. The little white fox was very sad and cried at the water's edge. The waves were so big and he could not even swim. And it was so cold that his tears turned to ice. Then suddenly a fountain appeared next to him and from under the water came the gigantic but friendly face of the whale. Startled, the little fox said, Hello, Mr. Whale. How have you seen Santa? As the whale spoke, the water bubbled. I have seen him, little white fox. He is over there, resting on the iceberg. Sit on my nose and I will swim to him. The little white fox was very excited when he saw Santa. Santa! I have been looking for you everywhere, over the ice and the tundra, through the forest, over the mountain and the great river, and now over the sea. Mrs. Claus said that you needed this. The little fox passed Santa the envelope from out of his fur coat. Ho, 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 boomed Santa as he opened the envelope. You have done well, little white fox. This is my Christmas list. On it are all the names of the children in the world and without it I would not know what they wanted for Christmas and where to take their presents. But how did you get here? There are so many dangerous animals along the way that I've been told like to eat little white foxes. 
They weren't dangerous, Santa. They were very kind, and it's because of them that I found you to give you your Christmas list. Eh, hey, little white fox, you are a good egg. And that is how the little fox and his new friends saved Christmas. The end.